Hello, welcome to another episode of Southern Boy Farms. I'm Kelvin and today I have in front of me this beautiful dwarf blood orange tree. I got it uh, about four days ago at uh, another Home Depot in the area and I really should stay out of those places because they cause me to buy things uh, that I really have no place to put but blood orange is one of those things that I absolutely love so I got started with blood orange years ago probably in 2010 when uh, my catering company did a party and the theme of the party was HBO's True Blood uh, as part of the event we served a drink that was also called True Blood which uh, I just found uh, a couple of bottles online and I think I'm going to order them just for the nostalgia of it all. But uh, Blood Orange is an orange. It's pretty sweet in uh, taste. Uh, this one here is the dwarf version and I was so happy to find that because I truly am running out of space. Uh, but also if you're a person who's living in an apartment, uh, you have a small condo, townhouses, you really don't have a whole lot of space back there and you may still want to have some citrus. Well, a dwarf version of a citrus tree could be just your answer. This one here, it, it was placed in the ground, would get to be about 8 to 10 feet tall and uh, but keeping it in a pot it limits it as far as how big it can get however just because the name is dwarf doesn't mean that you're going to get little teeny tiny fruit you're going to get the exact same size fruit as would be in a semi dwarf or in a standard tree that uh, would grow upwards of 25 30 feet tall so don't be fooled by the name dwarf. That just means that the rootstock, what this tree was grafted onto, is designed to support the nourishment and growth of the tree throughout its life, but in a small, compact form. That's it. So you go out, you get yourself a nice little pot. Now this isn't the pot I actually want to use. This is just the pot that I had here until I find something more permanent. I'll just set this one in there until the next time I go to transplant, which probably won't be for another two, maybe three years before I need to up pot it again um, if I want it to continue to grow larger. So again, dwarf just means that this tree will only stay a particular size. So if you have a spot on your balcony, in your little terrace, uh, in your small backyard, even inside your house itself, where you can get at least six hours of sunlight through that window, peeking around the corner of the building, what have you, then you can too can grow this tree. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to upplant it because in the transport I went on ahead and I dropped it and a part of this container cracked. So I need to put it somewhere where there's going to be enough space for it to grow as well as it not losing all of its soil. So citrus trees in general do not like wet soil at all so when you go to plant it i'm going to use which was greatly suggested online by other youtube gardeners this here uh, potting mix which is designed for cactus palm and citrus and it's designed to accept moisture but not to hold it it actually will let it come off and that's exactly what citrus in a pot needs. Uh, if you've got citrus planted in the ground, well, the ground just takes care of itself and wicking away moisture and the tree will be fine. Just remember, this tree, citrus, 
does not need a whole lot of water okay all you want to do is make sure that the soil is moist not wet not wet in the slightest it can even go slightly drier than moist but not too far no one and especially plants likes to be thirsty okay so let's go ahead and get started one of the things I like to do and what um, is I like to put something over the holes that are towards the bottom that'll keep a lot of my uh, potting mix from coming out through water and over time however especially with the citrus again and not wanting to have wet roots you definitely do not want to put gravel or stone or something like that in the bottom here the reason being is because water can actually gather up within there and if the roots make it down to that point and start making their way into it they will stay wet because the gravel will stay wet so what I like to do is to just take some screen it's the same kind of screen you would have like in a window screen or porch screen or something like that or anything with a little bit of smaller holes in it where the water can still get out but it will retain a lot more of your potting mix so just go ahead set that in the bottom okay and then I'm gonna put in my potting mix now normally I make up my own mixes um, I just find out what is the best mix for what I'm planting and I go ahead and mix it up myself but uh, I don't have too much cactus and uh, that's what everybody was suggesting online so I said you know what let me just go ahead and buy it it was only like five dollars a bag and uh, that's cheap enough for me so I'm gonna go ahead pack this a little bit okay now I'm not going to just pull my tree straight out because I don't want to have to set it back down because I didn't put enough soil already into the bottom so lifting it still inside its pot I'm just going to take and set it down inside there and where the top of the root ball is you want that to be at least two inches below the top edge of your pot and in that way when you're watering because water doesn't immediately soak straight through uh, it has a place to gather until it can slowly make its way down into the pot and out the bottom holes so I'm realizing that I could probably take a little bit of this out but because I really don't have any place to set it I'm just going to scoop it to the side of the pot now you don't need to go adding a bunch of supplements and everything for this tree right now okay citrus should only be uh, fertilized I, from what I've been reading twice a year so and right now is not the time okay so I'm gonna go ahead you want to grab the tree at the base right where the root ball ends above the soil and here we have it it's beautiful this one is not root bound so that's an excellent sign whenever you're inside the store and you're or a nursery and you're getting ready to buy uh, a potted tree or something like that always lift it up don't take it out of the pot because uh, if you break it you bought it all right so just lift the whole entire pot and see if the roots are coming out that's an indication that it is well past the time that it should have been inside there and should give you some reason for pause okay so I'm gonna set that down inside there and I'm just gonna go ahead and take another bag and all I want to do I don't want to cover the top of the existing 
tray I just want to fill in the sides okay because you don't want those air gaps on the side of the root ball because that is definitely not good for your roots okay Press that down, get it in there, make sure I have not covered up the, where my trunk meets the soil, okay? And there she is, citrus, blood orange, rootstock dwarf. All right, and actually, this, according to this tag on here put on by the Department of Agriculture, this is a Sanguinelli blood orange tree, which is another of the three kinds. So I may be in luck here with one that is not so quickly available in a lot of the uh, nurseries and planters but now that just means hey i got two and a half bags left of cactus soil and they had grapefruit they had tangerine well looks like i'm going back to the store so thank you for watching for those of you who are here for the first time i hope you've uh, enjoyed or got something out of this that you can use for yourself for the future uh, consider uh, giving me a thumbs up it really help out this channel and subscribe for future uh, videos because it looks like this channel will become more and more of co container gardening channel now uh, that I'm running out of space but we still will have plenty of other stuff because I still got yarn left and as things uh, bloom and uh, first spring of 2023 comes around, there'll be new stuff to, to plant outside as well. So, like I always say, love yourself, love those around you, cost you nothing, and it'll mean so much to both of you. Until the next time, thanks for watching. See you. Bye. Oh, don't forget watering in well okay i don't like to take time to to show you doing it online because it's just watering in well okay all right